It's absolutely, uh, absolutely fantastic to see so many people here today. Thousands already here in Hyde Park. Thousands still on the march coming to join us. And this march is so big that tens of thousands are still queuing on the embankment waiting to join this demonstration today. And we're here, we're here to send a clear message to the government that we're strong and that we're united, that we'll fight their savage cuts and that we will not let them destroy people's services, people's jobs and people's lives. Young and old, black and white men and women, we come from every walk of life and every part of Britain. Trade unionists, of voluntary groups, local community organisations, people terrified of losing their jobs and what that means for their families, people who see the axe looming over absolutely vital services on which they rely, the home helps for the elderly, the sure start centres for the children, the refuges for the victims of violent domestic abuse. And we've come together not just to oppose the cuts, but to call for a new approach to rebuilding our economy rooted in social justice in place of this tide of economic destruction. Because, because that's what we've got, isn't it? As the coalition government has turned out to be a demolition government. No part of our public realm is to be protected. And you know, you really shouldn't believe it when you hear them say that the NHS is safe in their hands. With over 50,000 job cuts already in the pipeline, nurses, doctors, physios, midwives, in the name of so-called efficiency savings, the NHS as we know it is already in intensive care. And with David Cameron talking about selling it off to any willing provider out to make a profit, the NHS is facing the gravest threat in its history. So today, today, let us say to him, we will not let you destroy what it has taken generations to build. The NHS, the NHS stands for something special. Care, compassion, social solidarity. And let us pledge today to do everything in our power to defend it. Let's be clear, the NHS is not for sale. And yet, you know, while the government is planning this destruction on such a massive scale, down the road in the city, they're paying themselves £7 billion in bonuses. Straight back to business as usual. And yet, you know, ministers have the nerve to tell us that we're all in this together. Well, with that cynical lie, they're taking us for fools. But you know what? The British people will not be fooled. Let's, let's be brutally clear about these brutal cuts. They're going to cost jobs on a huge scale, adding to the misery of the two and a half million people already on the dole. They're going to hammer crucial services that bind our communities together. And they're going to hit the poorest and the most vulnerable the hardest. And anyone who tells you different is a barefaced liar. Now, the government claim there's no alternative, but there is. Let's keep people in work and get our economy moving. Let's get tax revenues flowing and tackle the tax cheats. And let's have a Robin Hood tax on the banks so that they pay us back 
for the mess that they caused. So today, our message is going out loud and clear. Now is the time for change. We are not going to go away. This is just the beginning of our campaign. Today, we are speaking for the people of Britain. And David Cameron, if you want to meet the big society, come down to Hyde Park. <laughs>